This spring, UNOH baseball had one of their best seasons in school history. The racers went 44 and 12, and that was without a man who could have been a major contribution to their team. Jack Berry now gets to train this summer with the Lima Locos to ready him for the upcoming season. From the land down under to middle America, Jack Berry has found a home for the summer with the Lima Locos. It's probably one of the best teams I've been on, honestly. But everyone just really meshed and really grew really, really quickly. Everyone's really good friends with everybody. There isn't any beef or anything in between anybody else. So yeah, really, really lucky to be on this team. The Locos have, have really responded well to him. And obviously they look up to him because he's he's a man. You know, he's there's no way around it. He's just a man. So he's a big guy, he's got he's got power, he's a great player. Um, he's a fantastic teammate. The Aussie was a standout athlete in the Western Hemisphere, garnering attention from the majors and eventually signing with the Twins. However, Barry was released after a year with the Minnesota Ball Club, a tough situation to face, but a decision that has helped him to grow. It was honestly just a business thing. They had, they had two other guys above, uh, below me who they, they wanted to push up, um, and I was at that point the, the, weak, the weakest link, so I just had to cop it and, and deal with it. It was his business. Honestly, I'm a little bit glad that it happened because I, it taught me so much about myself or how I act when I fail and when I'm in those, in those slumps and positions, how to bring myself out of it. I think he's got a little chip on his shoulder, but he's not really that kind of guy he's not you know he's not out for blood he's a guy who just feels like maybe he got shortchanged but I think deep down he understands that he can play at that level again and he's anxious to get back there he's incredibly upbeat and that's that's a rarity I think in, in guys who come off you know being released but the guy's got he's got a desire and a work ethic to get back to that level and I, I've not seen one sign in him that would lead me to believe that that's hanging over his head. But good news followed the release. Barry was granted his amateur status by the NAIA and moved to Ohio where he will play for UNOH. I was cheering. I was so happy about it. Um, yeah, I was I was only honestly thinking I was only going to get one year, but and, you know, I, I ended up getting two, so I was you know, I was pretty happy about that. Honestly, th this is this is my time to learn about me and, and myself and about how I play and how I want to be as a player. So just to give me a bit more exposure um, against against some live arms and then once I start doing really well, I get a contract and you know, start the career again. A guy with a professional baseball background, that's a guy we're going to try to sign. I can't be more excited to see him swing a metal bat. Um, you know, and obviously the whole coaching staff at, at UNOH is excited to see him in, in our uniform, but I'm excited to see what he brings to the team next year, you know, given the fact that we, we graduate so many guys and um, see if we can't repeat what we did.